More freebies, Tularinos. A uh, relative had a garage that needed cleaned out, and they said we can come take whatever we want, otherwise it was going in a dumpster. So we'll get this stuff unloaded and give you a better shot of it. Alright, so we got the big rubber mats off the trailer, and uh, I am super excited about these mats. They're like three quarters of an inch thick. They're really heavy. We're going to put one on the ground outside of uh, George's shop and one out outside the main door of my, my shop. So, you know, no weeds will grow through it. <laughs> so, uh, we got a bunch of these uh, shelving boards. They're nice and sturdy and we need to build a big shelf uh, up high in Georgia shop. So those will come in handy. There's some big uh, shelves that fit into pegboard. There's this really old, super heavy duty hand cart kind of dolly. It rolls nice still. Um, there's this nice welded, really nice uh, shop cart. Uh, this is going to go in George's shop. It still rolls and spins and there's no smashed uh, parts, no dents. So we got this big double blower. The brand is Peerless Motors and Blowers, Warren, Ohio. Uh, it says it's thermally protected. It's got these oiling tubes for the bearings. So hopefully the motor's actually still in good enough shape. The uh, electrical cord is cut off, so I'm not sure if it works, but we'll have to find out. Got some oil, some giant wheels like from a hospital bed, some good random items here. This is a pneumatic hose end that just has a barb, so we can hook it on any piece of hose. There's a nice crescent wrench. Pexto and Wilcox Company. So that's nice. Here's a Craftsman nut driver. It's got a magnetic uh, end in it, so that's cool. Some bailing wire, old ratchet. And there's a knife blank. Pretty sharp already, so I'll have to try to make that into a real knife, put a handle on it sometime. That'll be a neat project. All right, trying to get through this quick before the wind picks up anymore. We've got a water jug, an old fan that does work, so we can make a filter out of that. Neat uh, hanging shelf, a very nice uh, moving blanket. There's a Stanley saw, kind of interesting. And there's a tripod thing here with some chain on it and a little holder. I have no idea what that's for. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. There's these heavy duty, like, uh, rigging things for hanging something. If anyone knows what those are called or what to do with those, please let me know. Got some old uh, California gold wax, another optivizer. Got some gun cases and some soft soft gun holder. This was uh, $16.99 when it was sold originally. So it's not a super expensive thing, but it'll protect our BB guns and stuff. And maybe this, uh, this handgun case would be good for the parlor pistol. And here's the Sears Kenmore electric sewing machine. It's got a light. It's got a neat system to drive it. It still has this uh, variable speed adjuster, so that could be cool. There's this really big brink and cotton uh, clamp. We got a small tent. case with a bunch of craftsman stuff mostly. There's a Cincinnati tool clamp, needs some work. Nice uh, half inch drive craftsman ratchet. Nice flexi U-joint. No brand, just says a chrome vanadium on it. 
but uh, here is a nice find. It's a plum. Pretty nice. You know, plating I'm sure is, uh, is mostly gone. It does still work. Needs a cleaning though. And just a smattering, random smattering of craftsman tools. Hopefully some of the pieces that maybe George needs for his shop are in here. But, uh, you know, it's all free, can't complain. Picked up a made in Ohio cast iron skillet. Got some tractor parts. There's a bottle jack. Not sure of the brand or if it's gonna work. We just, uh, George pulled it out of a, out of a dumpster. He found some spark plugs. And I found this interesting looking crowbar type tool. Anybody seen one of these? Anybody know what those little um, pieces sticking out the sides there are for? The other end was just pointy, though it's bent. But it's pretty pretty well pitted. It was uh, octagon. So, I don't know. Anybody know what that tool is for? Definitely does not seem like a, just a standard crowbar type tool. It looks like a specialty tool for something. Oh, all right. Well, I think that'll about do it for this freebie uh, video. So much stuff, and it's uh, freezing cold and blowing wind, and it could start raining at any time, so sorry for the wind noise. Hey, Tularinos. This is my son's latest project. It is a freebie, a free go-kart. It is modern. It is called a Dingo by Manko, according to the headrest here. It needs a new seat. It needs some tires or tubes or something because the front wheels won't hold air. It does have some little pretend suspension on the front spindles. I'm not sure these little springs are gonna do much but uh, they'll probably be better than nothing. So it was in a barn and something was nesting above it given the amount of poo <laughs> that is all over the engine area, unfortunately, but, uh, and all over the brake. So hopefully we'll get this engine running and uh, get a new belt and it'll be another fun machine to play with. Just a couple hours later. He uh, used the belt from one of his other go-karts. And the front wheels from one of his other go-karts. And he's out putting it through its paces. I forgot to ask him if he checked for oil. Hopefully. <laughs>